I'm doing a video today about the decorating I promised I would do. So I will start just right here. I've done some decorating over the last uh, couple of years that I don't think I've documented on videos. As you know, I've done the curtains. I've started the curtains. I've started uh, window sashes, um, window scarves. I still have a window scarf left to make for that, one tie left to make for that, ties left to make for that and a window scarf left to make for that. What I've been doing, what has been taking the bulk of my time, is I've been putting lining in these curtains because the neighbors are so spotlight crazy. I've put a double layer lining, black cotton, and then the purple brocade inside the velvet, and I've been actually stitching it in, kind of like the lining of a coat. So I have this one left to stitch. It's hanging up because I need to block the light. And the shade has come down because it has been making a lot of toxic fumes, as so has the wallpaper. And I think the wood in the walls as well, actually, and eventually painting will take care of that part. And a lot of you saw my video about how I recovered the light fixtures and made them into kind of a Tiffany stained glass look, which is what we have here. And so there's a previous video on how to do that. I did get um, candelabras. It's still daytime, so you can't see the candles really that well. When it's dark enough to see them, you wouldn't be able to see a video. And then I would say almost three. In 2016, I ended up getting this chair and the seat recovered because my chair that was here was damaged by a handyman and he ended up taking it, so and it was for nothing. And I ended up getting this table, like almost two years ago now, or almost, oh, about a year ago, actually. And um, it was off of Craigslist, and it's just a cherry wood round table that's table height, and then has a leg down it and it's about as about half the money as the fake wood ones are on Amazon and um, it's antique in quality and not the garbage that you find today which is nice if you can find something like that on Craigslist I did the rugs this rug here was like a ten dollar uh, rug that was just to cover the floor because in the winter the floor gets very very cold and it gives padding to the floor and warmth to the floor. It adds incredible warmth. And this rug I got um, to do the same thing. That again was like well over a year ago. So I'm really out of date as far as keeping you um, abreast of decorating. And then this cover for the MacBook, it kind of goes with the gypsy boho decor. And the rug, that that's real old, that was uh, done like right after I moved here and had the first leak and the carpet molded out and people were walking with muddy feet onto the carpet turning them brown and then the leak happened and the carpet molded out and I just ended up having to remove it and so under this rug it's subfloor. But it does give like a really nice gypsy rug as you can see it gives a really nice look. I was never able to afford or manage to do anything with door panels for the fridge. I am in the process of working on getting a panel wood, oak panel wood from another state brought in because the local businesses here that can order it for me are playing too many games and nothing's getting done. So then I also have these lights, they're on lithium batteries. And they are up. And they add good light. So they stay pretty well lit in the nighttime, and then I can recharge them through the wall outlet during the day. 
So that's an awesome thing, and it lights up this whole area pretty much. Sometimes I need to use the light back there, but not, not all the time. And I did finish all of my gypsy pillows. I did finish them. I did get them all done. That one's two-sided there. That's got the old tablecloth material and the um, purple uh, velvet of that pillow on the other side. And then I did this new tablecloth out of some of the leftover pillow material there. And I still have the old one, the still the old purple one. And then I added some more pictures. I added a Moroccan lantern that I had been able to get used real cheap. And the candles, the little candles, don't uh, make much light. So I used one of the really raunchy, um, fake candles, fake looking candles, and just turned it upside down to, to give it like a uh, votive, really strong votive light. And then these pic prints I added, these two prints up here, they're from, they're actually prints of the paintings that were on the Night Gallery TV show in the 70s. So if any of you saw that show with the paintings, uh, this painting was from season two, and it's got that gold frame that on it, and this painting was uh, the first, the pilot from season one. Uh, so that's just a print of that, and that's the Gary Melbury, that is like a, um, one that I'd gotten like last year for my birthday. And um, that's an old Gary Milbury. And that's kind of a nice gypsy look. That's the painting that was over in the beginning. That's one of the first ones I put up over by the window. And I moved it over here because it works better. And then this smaller one is kind of a circus clown one, which is really hard to see in the lighting, but it works better over here. It's a little bit smaller, and it fits into the face where the kitty is a little bit bigger. And then this Gypsy Vardo wagon one there. So it really adds a lot to the wall. And another thing you notice as I'm showing you the paintings, the wallpaper did get taken off of this wall completely, taken off of here, taken off of there, and taken off of there. And I had to do a minimum with a handyman, so... I had him take this entire bookcase out and get the wallpaper that was behind that. So all that's left on the wallpaper here is just that and over there and this little strip here. And then this can be painted like a nice kind of boho green, kind of like that maybe. A nice boho green. And that'll look really awesome with the door thing that hangs up and all that. It'll just really give a nice flare and make it look a lot homier. And I think a lot of you probably saw up here where I redid that light fixture up there and covered holes in the ceiling with those um, copper-colored stars. And then there's some lights hanging up there. Nothing, again, has been done with this room because it's going to be so expensive to redo. And um, so that has kind of stayed as it is. I'm just trying to work a little because there's only like pennies left over for decorating, if anything. Mm -hmm. And in here, when the tarp got put on, it just, the air got so tight, and it got to be so dark, and um, that the fumes of the wallpaper got to be so bad. So I was going to actually leave this wallpaper till the very last, but um, that... Uh, had to be taken down just on the outside wall and the vinyl was just fuming in here. And so this is going to get taken down and I'm probably going to do this in like a purple or something because any new wallpaper I put up, any of the paste would be toxic again. And if it's not a toxic paste, like a wheat paste, then it's prone to mold and you don't want anything in a trailer that's prone to mold. And so that picture looks really nice up there. And then because of the darkness, I strung lights all the way around these lights. Again, they're the same other lights that are strung up. I did buy the flower ones 
that had like just the battery thing, not the lithium. I did buy them and I outgassed them for like a year and then when I turned them back on after testing them the first time, I outgassed them. When I turned them back on, they did not come on. So I just bought these because they don't need to be outgassed and they work. And they just do a really great job. And again, I covered these, this light here, um, with that because it doesn't need to be real bright and if I'm having to turn it on a lot. I really don't want the real bright RV light. And the candles still stay there. So mostly I just use this dark room with the candles there. But and that's usually enough to go to the bathroom, especially at night. And that works just great. And so it keeps me from waking up. There is here this candelabra here and with this here I have above the bathroom I've kept the regular RV light I am going to paint it kind of that coppery uh, brass color because it does look so good but the uh, candelabra here um, really looks awesome really awesome and that, again, was all purchased, oh, I'd say about two or three years ago, right after I went, shortly after I went off the grid. So um, that's what I've done so far. It's really, I would say, you know, over time it doesn't seem like that much difference, but it really is actually a big difference, all this. It just makes it look a lot more homey. Like if you go back and you see my uh, initial video of when I bought the trailer and there was a booth there of crummy trailer fabric and a crummy trailer table and a trailer thing there and this was just a this bookcase was just a, somebody's throwaway at the curb that was repurposed just for a temporary thing until I actually get something to go there and then when I had a leak and there was a hole put in the wall down there to um, get the wet stuff out that box was put in so anything that comes in could set on the box that could actually be painted like a nice like bohemian blue and uh but i don't think i'll do that because it is temporary and eventually there'll be something more permanent and again there's previous videos on my channel of how i took the crummy armrest the qu crummy square rectangular armrest and made these roll pillows so it just took a lot of time to do a little, but a little makes a real difference. And I've got to right now go and sew the rest of this lining in and hem the bottom. So that'll be done. And then I will be lining those drapes there. And that will take care of some of the spotlight problem. And I've still got to, because of the heater, I can't really close the curtains because I don't want to make a fire hazard. And I've been using a shade, but the shade keeps going bad and not working, stopping working, and every time I get a new shade and it's vinyl fumes. So I don't really want to do that. I'm thinking of getting some more of the brocade fabric and maybe just making some shade that has a string that pulls the shade up so that when the spotlights get really bad I can, you know, cut, use something to cover the window and then the rest of the time it would be up in there. Meanwhile, I have like a regular vinyl shade that's tucked under the valance there. So that way I can have something to cover the window when the lights get too bright. So that's kind of all for the decorating for now. I do have plans for a little bit more and a little bit more. And I will keep you posted on that uh, when it gets here. So uh, when it happens. So if you like, hit like, subscribe, share, comment, and have a great day.